If you remember about a year ago, a OnePlus offered people the chance to try the OnePlus 11 for 100 days. And if they didn't like it, they could send it back for a refund. Now, Samsung's not exactly doing 100 days, but they are doing 30 days. There are a bunch of terms and conditions to consider. We'll talk about some of those today. But the idea is that you get to buy one of these, try it out for 30 days, and if for whatever reason you don't like it, you could go ahead and send it back. And while it applies to the S24 lineup, it applies to some S23 devices, I think the most opportunistic portion of this and the things that you might want to try are the Flip 5 and the Fold 5. If you've been on the fence about foldable technology, if you've been on the fence about going ahead and getting a flippable like the 5, this might be the little nudge that you need or the little security blanket to sleep at night where you could say, okay, well, if I really don't like the form factor, if I really don't use it as I thought I would intend, then that's something that... I would go ahead and, and send back and be able to get my money back and not feel like I lost a whole heck of a lot. So that's something to consider with the Flip 5 and the Fold 5 because not everybody sold on the technology. Some people are worried about the different uh, the durability of it, how they'd use it, the outer display, if they'd get annoyed by flipping open over and over and over again. So that's something on the Fold 5. You might say, well, am I going to use all that real estate to the absolute and all the rest of it? So if you have those kind of operational questions – that just aren't solved by watching people use them on video. Well, this is a chance to get your hands on it and be able to use one of these two devices, or you could use one of the other ones. Links in the description do help the channel. Now, let's talk about some of the important terms and conditions here. Number one, for some reason, now there's probably something to this. Samsung's not a charity. You have to buy them. You have to buy a carrier unit. You cannot buy an unlocked one. You have to buy a carrier one and... The payment type has to be the Samsung kind of uh, pay-as-you-go type deal, the Samsung financing, or pay in full. You can't do the carrier deals. So the AT&T one where you trade something in and you get this for 5 bucks a month, that doesn't count. They're not going to honor that. You got to have – it's got to be a carrier device. So it has to be an AT&T, a Verizon, a T-Mobile, a US Cellular, or one of those. Then at the payment option, you have to choose the Samsung financing – or pay it up front, and then you'll get the kind of 30-day uh, grace window. Also, other things, obvious things. You can't throw this you know, against the wall and try to hand it back in three pieces and, and, and try to get your money back. Okay, you, know, you, you can't be dumb about it. You need to use, it's a little common sense. goes a long way. But if you understand the limitations, if you understand that you can't just do anything you want and hand these back in tatters, then you might have an opportunity here to get some value and get and use these devices for a little bit and see if they fit your lifestyle. I want to focus on the Flip 5 for a moment. We'll talk about the Fold 5 in another video as I smack the, the, the pole for the camera because I want to talk about the Fold 6. I want to talk about some stuff they need to change here and while this is a good device and all the rest of it. Let's talk about the Flip 5 because... I really feel like I, I didn't do a long-term review of the Flip 5. I, I was downloading software and stuff for it, so I, I was anticipating doing a video on this. I still may do a full video on it, depending on what we get into here. The Flip 5 was fine. It was okay, but I think that was the kind of catch for people because, it, yeah, it's an okay device. It does well, it performs well, but then you see you know, all the overseas flippables and how fancy and stylish they can be. You see the Moto Razor Plus, how just how phenomenal this phone looks in comparison to this. I, I mean, you put these side by side, it's not even a competition in my mind between these two. And normally, I wouldn't put too much stock in that. Normally, I wouldn't spend a lot of time and give a company grief for how a device looks. Yes, it's important, but you know, performance and software and all the rest of it, where I think Samsung has the edge are important. However, however, the one category of device where I will put more stock into style and design and the rest of it are the flippables. Because much like an iPhone back in the day, a flippable is as much of a fashion accessory as it is a smartphone for your daily life. You get one of these because of the look, because of the style, because of how it feels in the hand, because of how it sits in your pocket, because of the wow factor when you pull this out and you're talking to people in your phone, you're going to go like this or whatever. And they're like, whoa, what's that? That type of deal. That plays more of a role in a flip phone and a foldable device than it does a regular device. So I put a bit more stock into design and just kind of that wow factor. And this really doesn't have it anymore. 
Yes, the outer display is significantly more usable than it used to be. You could get good lock on here, and, and, and some of that stuff they've integrated. So you, so you got good lock, so you could have you know, full screen experiences of these apps, which is quite nice. You know, the outer screen is nice. You get a full Instagram scroll. You get a full Twitter scroll. You get Slack. You get some other things that you could put on there. You get WhatsApp, and you get messages, and YouTube, and stuff like that. And the experience is good. No problems with that. You get a full, you know, your full functioning widgets on the home screen. It certainly goes a long way to reducing the amount of time that you're spending inside the phone. It does a couple different things. Number one, it keeps you from being a scroll monster. It keeps you from sitting there all day and refreshing your social media feeds every five minutes. A lot of people get these devices as kind of disconnect devices where, okay, I'm just going to, you know, if I could do the little scroll here in the few minutes I have, that's fine, but I'm not going to open up the phone and go ahead and, and really just dive in to social media, which can be a good thing. The other thing with this is it saves battery. You know, you're not, you're not, you can get kind of that Instagram experience on the outside. You can get your social media fix while using the outer display. So you're not really eating up the entire battery that you'd get by opening up and kind of flipping it up. Battery is better. Not as good as the Razer Plus, but it is better than it has been for previous generations of these. The battery's held up quite well. Over six hours of screen on time, which for me on a flippable, especially with the smaller batteries they put in these, is absolutely fine. The real advantage, you know, like I said, the software is kind of bland. The real advantage is the Samsung software. Uh, our design is rather, uh, rather bland. This, the, the, the advantage is the software. You're getting the smooth Samsung experience. You're getting one UI, which you either love or hate at this point, but you love it, and you want to flip. This is kind of the most reliable. While the, the Moto and some of these overseas phones have the, have the best design of a flippable, Samsung has the most reliable software of a flippable. You're going to get your updates monthly. You're going to get your uh, upgrades of Android in a timely fashion. You know, Moto, I don't know, Android 14 has been out for X amount of time. And yes, while I do believe we will get it on the Razer Plus, who knows when? You know, you never know when you're going to get the if you're going to get the Android release in the same calendar year it was released. So that's a question mark. If you're somebody who needs that kind of warm blanket of of your software support, then Samsung is really your best bet, especially here in the United States. So I think it's interesting. Like I said, link in the description it does help out the channel. Don't be stupid. You know, follow the rules. And you could try one of these out. And this is for people, like, if you have no interest in one of these and you pick one up and you return after 30 days, well, then you deserve whatever happens to you. But if you have genuine interest, if you have a phone, you know, if you have an older Flip 3 that maybe you kind of gave out on or your, uh, the durability quiet, uh, wasn't quite what it was or what you expected where your screen broke loose and you're like, you know what, I don't know. Let me, let me, you do love the form factor, but you were stung and you're like, you know what, I don't know if I want to dive back into flippables. Well, you could try it out. See if the durability enhancements and the hinge and all the rest of it. It's our, if you're coming from a Flip 3, it is significantly different. So that feel uh, might do a little bit better for you this time around than it did last time. So those are some, uh, some things to consider. But like I said, Fold 5, same deal. You know, if you're coming from an earlier one, a Fold 2, uh, original Fold, uh, bless your soul, uh, then, then that's something that you might want to take a look at. There are, you're not going to get FOMO. You know, they are releasing new ones probably the end of July. So understand that, that these aren't going to be the latest and greatest for long. But if you're somebody who is on the edge, you don't upgrade that much, or you're just like, look, I, I've been wanting to try one of these. I need an excuse to get off the fence. Uh, this could pr very well be a relatively safe way to try one. If you don't like it, then return it. 30 days, you get your money back, uh, and hopefully you follow the rules and you can do that and you can enjoy your experience. And who knows? Maybe you keep it. Maybe you say, hey, look, you know what? Flips are for me after all. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve Licious day.